topic I have before me is export for survivor, market access imperatives. Let me come in from here to say, I just pity any PC. Hmm. You know why I pity them? I want to liken their situation to a football, a football match, where you have the, uh, the keeper having to go and do the work of the midfielder. I don't know so much about football, but it means the man is running from pillar to post, trying to help his team. That's what I like in NEPC too. They have their mandates, trade facilitation, market access. But what do they do? You find them now coming back, produce seed for people. Go through this one, go through that one with the meagerings that they have. So please, can you just scroll up? Scroll, please. Yes. What is survivor? I want to come from there so that we all understand what we're saying today. It's the state of fact of continuing to live or exist, typically in spite of an accident or deep or difficult circumstances. We must therefore endure, withstand, persevere, get through continue to subsist and exist. What does that tell us? It means for us to survive in this nation. When Mr. Boyede was talking, he ruled out all the issues and the problems. And I don't want to sound pessimistic. It appears that the government is unable, I don't want to say incapacitated, is unable to trash that place. Because what I have seen, what I have known is that when issues like this are coming up, then government should do something. But maybe because there are so many big weeks. But let me just relax. So it now means that the solution, and whether we like it or not, we are the exporters and we should come to rescue this nation so that we can all exist. I want to ask a question. We are in very critical. Okay, let me say before I ask the question, we're in very critical in Nigeria, though it's the world over, but ours have been due to neglect of the past. Unfortunately, many of us who are innocent are the ones to pay the price. From our definition of survival, it then means that all hands must be on deck to ensure that Nigeria thrives and that Nigeria succeeds. How many of us can migrate all our relations? People will say these days they want to jack out, they want to run away, and they are all doing it. But can you go with all your relations? So when things are bad, it affects you as well. So if we think, what's my own? There is so much in your own in it. So I want to say the mantra, export for survival, can't come at another time than now. So this mantra should work better with all I call the value chain within the intergovernmental agencies. I will explain myself soon. So NEPC should actually be the last agency within the agreed value chain. And within that intergovernmental value chain, because they provide, their role is to provide market access. And let me also now name these intergovernmental agencies and what they should be doing. We have the federal and state ministries of agriculture and their relevant parastatals, like BOA, what should be their jobs? Helping the farmers to grow the right seed, monitoring them through this, um, what do we call these people that inspect farms? And then they help us bring out the best because before you go for exports, this, I mean, the products from the farm are it's the first stage. And before the products from the, uh, the produce from the farm will come out, the inputs are all necessary. Why can't we have some of these agencies do some of these things so that those who are real growers, the real farmers, like I am one, because you just find out that there is problem. In fact, I carry two problems as a farmer and as a processor, and a, in fact, three, and as an exporter. 
How many farmers now do you see can go to the farm? People say things are expensive, and that's why sometimes even when we have these products, can we compete properly? Because the products will be expensive. Like I told uh, an audience recently that I haven't gone to my farm in one year. Why? I don't want to be kidnapped. And I say boldly to say, not all kidnappers are headsmen. Kidnapping has become localized. Because somebody just looks at you and says, oh, this mama has money. And then before you know, they connive with your staff, connive with one person, or they know when you are going to your farm. I was saying the ministries should do their bit. Then when you leave that one, we come to NAVDAC. When these products come out and then the processors produce, we need to be standardized. There are too much over-regulations. I, I am participating at the current Lagos MSME fair. And somebody came from NAVDAC yesterday and he said, we're not supposed to use four rooms. Meanwhile, before they will insist that you must have four rooms, to be able to produce. So people have had to suffer so much to be able to make all that work. And then I once told Navda, I said, is it difficult like what NEPC is doing to get donor agencies, help some of us get these third, part, uh, third party certifications? Because if we have then some, recently I've had an engagement with some, it's unpalatable at all. For ETLS, the product, my product is in Togo. They say you must have some. They don't even have most of the standard. I want to do ginger uh, plantain floor, turmeric and coke. It's only ginger they have this standard. They don't have the others. And they said it's a requirement. So when we cannot do all this one, what is any PC going to take to the market? You find so much reject in our products. Why are they being rejected? For if they see third party certification has it, that any PC has had to pay for from their money, and that shouldn't be part of, or except if that they've given them money for. But I would have expected on the kind of thing Mr. Shoes to pay half of their bills and take more people for exports. That would be better than for them to be paying for has it for people. So, um, we have CBN says recently that they have paid about uh, 3.5 billion to exporters. How many? But if we can leverage on the MSMEs that are about 90% of our population with what Smidan has done at NEPC, we can record much more uh, progress in the international market and our currency can be pushed up. So having said all that, let me also now talk about organized private sectors. With the SMID, I mean, with LCCI, NASI, NASME, and Co., we need to work on our members to do the right thing. For exporters, we also need to be ethical in what we do. We don't need to just push out anything we like, and then that's why they will keep rejecting. And for those who are organized private sectors, we have people on the board of the council who are exporters. Most of us don't even know who these people are, except for talking to it that is talking so much. But what I want to recommend is that we need to keep talking. If we need to carry placard, let's carry, but not negative pl placard, such that will help any PC to perform on their mandate. So thank you. Let me stop here.